With President Joe Biden's announcement that U.S. troops leave Afghanistan by September 11th, I've concluded that it's time to end America's longest war. Come fears for what happens next. Even the new CIA director warned senators. When the time comes for the U.S. military to withdraw, the U.S. government's ability to collect and act on threats will diminish. That's simply a fact. Former officials have dire words. We will rue the day when we made this decision. I think that the loss politically and diplomatically and intelligence-wise is incalculable. Carl Ford ran the State Department's intelligence unit when the U.S. invasion began in 2001. He tells Newsy officers started out wrong, not truly understanding the bottom-up power structure of Afghanistan, and that our departure, 20 years later, will give terrorists free reign to prepare operations against the region and the U.S. Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups, I guarantee you, will take advantage of our absence from Afghanistan. Some support the withdrawal, like former director of the Defense Intelligence Agency, Vince Stewart, who is a member of the Biden transition team. Still, he worries the Afghan government could collapse to the Taliban. I'm very concerned about the scenario in uh, Afghanistan where the government might not have the capability and or willingness to stand against the Taliban. It isn't because they're not been trained. It isn't because they have not been equipped. It is really a matter of will. The U.S. also loses an important base for intelligence collection, not just on Afghanistan, but the region, Pakistan, Russia, and Turkey. About 2,500 U.S. troops are stationed in Afghanistan, and the president says more than 2,200 have died in the last 20 years. Some troops are likely to remain out of the U.S. embassy in Kabul. There probably will be some minimal forces. If that's the case, I hope it is absolutely the minimal because you're now increasing uh, target opportunities with a smaller force footprint. A Taliban spokesperson said after President Biden's announcement that if a previous agreement to pull out by May 1st isn't met, problems will certainly be compounded. And though the administration says it'll continue to support the Afghan people, for now, a hope of turning the country into a stable democracy and partner in the Middle East leaves with U.S. and NATO troops. From Washington, Sasha Ingber, Newsy.